What's up, everyone? For the Winitachi here, you know what it is. Thank you very much for tuning in to today's live stream. We're playing Pokemon Quest. Y'all know what's up. Swipe left of that guy real quick. So it's been a while. As you guys know, I only play Pokemon uh, Quest and Pokemon Magikarp Jump uh, once a week, currently on Sundays. I have just received a seal. Not bad. What level? 36. Not the greatest. What move? Uh, Blizzard. That's actually pretty damn good. But uh, 36 is not good at all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bypass on that. Go ahead and grab our PM tickets. Let's see. How do I want to play this? How do I want to play this? We have 170 and I need 200, I think. 200 is the next one. Yeah, 200 is the next one. Uh, we'll probably get the golf bag from Victory Bell. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get into this game as smoothly as possible before we start doing some other stuff. And then I'll go ahead and uh, explain to you guys what I have in mind for our Pokemon Quest and Pokemon Magikarp Jump series. This is going to be an episode that might uh, start changing the way I play this game. It looks so freaking weird, that Goldeen getting cooked on top of that Ponyta right now. Um, but let's go ahead and keep it going. Basically, what I have in mind is since I only play Pokemon Quest and Pokemon Magikarp Jump at the moment once a week, and I really want to beat these two games. These are fun games to play. I want to go ahead and beat and clear all of the levels. <clears throat> and I don't log in to these games outside of the days that I play. And what I had in mind was, and the reason why I wasn't is because I want you guys to experience and see every single thing that I do in this game. However, what I have in mind is, in Pokemon Quest, for example, I'm not going to talk about Pokemon Magikarp Jump. I'll go ahead and do that in that live stream and in that video. Um, what I have in mind is simply, will you guys be okay with me logging in every single day and collecting Pokemon? Not doing the expeditions, um, but just logging in and collecting the Pokemon, the daily Pokemon, and the daily PM tickets so I can go ahead and, uh, when I do live stream, purchase and use those Pokemon for leveling up and uh, other purposes and needs. Uh, let me know in the comment section or just throw a like on this video and um, I will go ahead and uh, see if you guys are okay with that. If you are not okay with that, dislike the video and post in the comment section why. But I would probably understand why because you guys want to experience everything with me, which is what I have in mind for this series. So, don't really want to do too much training at the moment. I want to go ahead and get straight into this, which we're going to go ahead and uh, clear Expedition 2 now. So, last week we re-cleared Expedition 1. And a couple of levels in Expedition 2. We're going to do the same thing this week with Expedition 2. And we're going to be continuing on until we get to uh, Expeditions uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Because we do need a lot of uh, cooking reagents or cooking materials to go ahead and continue on leveling up our Pokemon. Which is also why I kind of want to do that. Because this uh, process of me going through all of the Expeditions again is going to take a couple of weeks. And... Once I get back to Expedition 7 through, I believe it was 10, um, I will be able to actually probably steamroll through them or at least be able to do them. I probably wouldn't steamroll, but at least be able to do them. So, let's get to it. Alright everybody, uh, Expedition 2 now on a roll. Uh, Gloomy Grove recapping Expedition 2 with a bonus type of fire. Uh, Expedition 2 level 1 requires a team total of 1,000. Um, I'm way above that. I'm only using my two Pokemon at the moment, so let's go ahead and get straight into this. Gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did with Expedition 1. Have this on auto grind, and the main reason why I'm recapping these dungeons is uh, make new videos out of them so you guys can see what type of Pokemon and what to experience and what to expect uh, when you go ahead and adventure into these levels yourself. And also for me to go ahead and... Um, get some at the moment because these are uh one of the beginning expeditions 
get some easy XP for Pikachu. Flareon just outlevels this way too big. And also, uh, cooking materials are huge for me right now. Because I need to do a lot of cooking in order to get um, some bear Pokemon uh, to go ahead and uh, evolve, level up, train, you name it, you got it. Uh, my Pokemon that are currently on my team. Currently on my Pokemon that I currently have for my main team. Flareon, Alakazam, and Cloyster are already fully evolved, but leveling them up and also uh, move training is a uh, major key right now for me to go ahead and get through the expeditions that I'm currently stuck on. So this is Expedition 2, Level 1. We will be comp completing all levels within this video. Uh, for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in to YouTube.com slash for the win Itachi, where we live stream seven nights a week. We also upload seven days a week. So we got a Gloom to take care of as well as three to four Oddish. I think I saw an extra Oddish here. Uh, okay, just the three Oddish. Okay, so three Oddish and a Gloom to go ahead and take care of here on uh, this level. Not too difficult at all, especially me having a Flareon who is also a fire type that absolutely demolishes my opponents. I'm waiting. I'm waiting so hard right now just to say boom. Finally, thank you. I was like, what the hell is taking so long, Florian? But so we got through that level. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. Uh, eight cooking regions, which is great. And also we'll get some additionals from uh, the gems that we are currently collecting. Yes, I do know the cloud stones. Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. We just completed a quest. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Big Roots times five. Y'all know what's up. Cooking should be three out of five, so two more levels. Expedition 2, level 2, 1,200 total is the requirement. It's not really a requirement. It's just a recommendation to go ahead and get into this one. But then again, I do got Flareon with me, so this is real cakewalk. Not because of its level... Mainly because my Flareon is, well, I mean, my Flareon, no. All Flareons are fire types. Whoa. Did you just, whoa. Did you guys just see Flareon, I don't even know what that was. It tried to bite one of the Paris, but it, it, it missed terribly. And it's also leaving my uh, Pikachu to just go ahead and uh, take some L's against his Execute. I think these Executes, are these the ones that explode? Is it this level where they start doing exploding and mechanics that you have to actually play around? No, it is not. Okay, these are just regular execute that attack. Oh, wait, no, they do. Wait, no, they don't. I don't even know what's going on anymore, fam. Usually you can tell when they use explosion, uh, that white square that was kind of flashing around a Pokemon. But it looked like it was flashing around Pikachu. Um, it should be flashing around the execute itself. One of these expeditions, you'll start to notice a lot of Pokemon do use Explosion or Self-Destruct. Um, I'm assuming it's Explosion because these are Execute. And uh, they do bear damage, fam. Bear. The damage is uncontrollable. Alright, so we're fighting some Spearows now, so this should be Cakewalk here. Uh, especially with Pikachu. Never mind. Never mind, I didn't even notice Pikachu's health, but that, that's, that was bad. Please, I was about to say, please don't use Flamethrower because you just sit there and don't do anything. Just, just kill it. Thank you. That's all you have to do. Auto attack, fam. <laughs> just auto attack and we win so quickly. Alright, let's go ahead and see the boss mode of Expedition 2 level 2. I, I, I could have thought of that. Executor, of course. I think that's an explosion oh no that's whoa was that is that egg bomb no way did they have egg bomb in did they have egg bomb in generation one i don't remember but the stage has been cleared the level has been cleared so let's go ahead and move on into the next one cooking agents two seven eight nine ten eleven plus the stone that will give us some more Expedition 2, level 3, uh, 1500 is the requirement, so let's go ahead and get into this, this is going to be cake. What's cool about actually coming back to these old expeditions is just being able to do them again, I mean, 
I love this game so much. I haven't really been able to... I don't know. I haven't... I just don't... What, what, what am I... What's the word I'm trying to say? It's just like... It's nostalgic, but I mean, it's not like I've... This game's old or anything. It's kind of new, to be honest. It's only a couple months, but... Just being able to do these again for like one last time, because I'm probably never going to do these expeditions ever again. Um, maybe in the future if there's a reason to, or for like an achievement or something, but... Other than that, this is the last time I'm uh, recapping old expeditions. The only reason why I'm recapping them now is because uh, for easy video footage, uh, for easy like little video guides for you guys to go ahead and watch, uh, so you guys can pre-experience the experience before you actually take on that experience, and um, so you guys can see what's up. And that's pretty much it. Also, the main reason why I'm here is cooking agents. I'm in dire need. My Pikachu's about to take a L. Unless they come in with a flamethrower, but, like, uh, I got hiccups and it's on cooldown, so. There's the flamethrower. Oh, actually, we got through it. Please, please. Oh, Pikachu. Lucky. More Oddish. So, the, the terribleness about this many Oddish is that my flamethrowing... Flareon is stupid and decides to go the opposite way, so Pikachu's now dead. Got gangbanged by five, four Oddish. Actually, in that situation, it was a total of five in the beginning, but ended up being four. Do you, you want to just, like, I was about to say, do you want to just, like, tilt to the left a little bit? Okay, so thank God it's only Flareon now against these five, six Oddish. Because it's just auto attack for life. Just don't use Flamethrower, please. Thank you. You do, like, 3,300 damage, fam. With auto attack. If you... Pikachu, what, what what are you doing? You better finish that up yourself, Pikachu. I was going to say, you better not be relying on Flareon now. So we're facing off against uh, Weeping Bell and its army of Bell Sprouts. These were actually probably one of the most OP Pokemon in Generation 2. Bell Sprout Tower fam. They helped out so, so much. But it's like a Pokemon that they put in a situation... That they knew no one wanted a bell sprout, but you kind of needed it if you wanted to really like cakewalk through the game. I never caught one because it was Gen One, and that's just not how I play gen new generations. Ooh, almost leveled up Pikachu, sweet. Now I believe we can do the cooking. Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and hit back up base camp. Expedition 2 level 4 is going to be next. Please give me some nice loot from this uh, cooking. And when I mean loot, I mean a Pokemon. Good XL size mulligan stu a la goob. Oh, we got the double double. That's a shelter and a Ponyta. Y'all know what's up. Don't need any of them because they got multiples. But still, level 31 shelter that knows Ice Beam. That's nice. That's what I want my... Uh, Poister to know. And a ponytail that knows fire spin. Yeah. So, my Cloyster's moveset's actually pretty good right now. And I'm not going to bother using the shelter at the moment on it. Maybe to level up, but not 100% sure if I'm even going to bother with that. So, auto set, can I... I still can't. God damn. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we can, uh, you've already added. Do you want to stop cooking? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and check out my gems, see if I can pull out some more cooking regents. I told you guys, I'm dead in stock right now. Um, let's just go to Pikachu and Power Charms. I don't even think my Pikachu has any on right now. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't think so. So these are all junk to me. Go ahead and recycle. That did not look a lot at all, but the main reason why it's not a lot is because those are some trash gems, but still. So with that being said, uh, it's not looking good. Ooh, right on the money. That should be a quick one, though. It should be a three. Yeah, we're going to get one more Pokemon today. Perfect episode. Perfect live stream right now. Alright. 
Expedition 2, level 4, that 17 hundo fam, that 17 hundo. This should level up my Pikachu. For those of you that are tuning in live, you just saw what I did. Um, just wasted all of my cooking regions on my next cooking. So that kind of sucks for me. Now I still got to farm up cooking regions again because now I recently just ran out and got zero. I got a bunch of like rainbows, but other than that, uh, other than the rainbow regents, I don't got anything. No reds, no blues, no yellows. Small and large. Kind of on the down low on all of it right now. I'm spamming silver or 15 co uh, cooking pots right now. I was going to say crock pots, but I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Pikachu already dead. I mean, this is like Pikachu's level then. Like, Expedition 2 boss is like Pikachu's perfect level if it had a team. Like, that's where Pikachu would start to... It would... It would. Ooh, nice. It would clear uh, Expedition 2 Pikachu with a team around its level, but it would struggle to do so. I'd have to actually play it and not have it on autoplay. So that's good to know. Pikachu's about... Starting Expedition 3 type Pokemon right now. So it's got a long way to go for it to even get anywhere near my team. Which is why... Another reason why I'm also doing these re-levels right now. Ooh, Paris. Sect and army of three Paris. Like this... Okay, now... Talking about Weeping Bell and Bell Sprouts and Victory Bells. So mainly talking about Bell Sprouts from Bell Sprout Tower in Generation 2. In Generation 1, Paris. Paris Sect, but Paris mainly. In uh, Mount Moon. That was, like, the rare Pokemon that you would find back in the day. The coolest Pokemon that you'd probably find. You'd be like, whoa, a Paris. What the hell was that? Because it looks so different and cool compared to the other Pokemon. But until you watch the anime and actually what a Paris is, you notice how lame that Pokemon was. And it makes you not want it. That, that's what I felt. Yay, level 22. Congratulations. Oh, wait, what? No, wait, no, D don't tell me it loses its move. I want it to evolve, but don't, t please don't lose your moves. Please keep surf, please. I'm gonna be fucking pissed off if it, because I spent money on that Pikachu. Well, no, I didn't. I got a coupon that gave me $3, two, uh, no, $2, $1.99. So I got to ride you now. And it no surf, yes! Oh, that is so golden, fam. My Raichu knows Surf. That is lit. Y'all know what's up. I got a Surfing Raichu. Forget Surfing Pikachu. We got Surfing Raichu. Alright, so we completed a quest. See what it is. And then we'll finish off this expedition. Grass type slot so. That would be one day. Finish all those achievements. Oof. That's not my goal, though. Expedition 2. Boss mode, 2100, final level. We just evolved Pikachu into a Raichu, so let's go ahead and do this. I want to see what Raichu looks like in this game. Big chubby, little chubby dude. Oh, damn, it actually stands up. I mean, it makes sense, but I prefer Raichu when it's on the move to be on fours, but okay. That actually looks so, f oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I'm actually happy. So, like, the four Pokemon... I, I have a lot of Pokemon right now. I have, like, probably... Not a lot, but, like, ten. But four of them I'm actually keeping. Three of them are on my team. And one is an ultra rare that you can't get in the game. The current team that I have is Flareon, Koyster, and Alakazam. Koyster's a tank, Alakazam, DPS, Flareon, just because I absolutely love Eevee. And Flareon's my favorite Gen 1 Eevee Lucian. And I also have this Raichu now that evolved from uh, Surfing Pikachu, which is 72 hour ultra rare. You can't get it unless you buy it for $1.99 plus all these other cool goodies in the game, which I did buy with a coupon, so it wasn't my money. I might as well take it. And I'm happy about it, but now it's a Surfing Raichu. Like, that's ultra uber mega rare. Like, you'll never see that. I'm super shocked. It's super cool. I'm super cool. I mean, it's super cool. Alright, so, cool. We can get to the uh, the boss of Expedition 2. <clears throat> Raichu's actually staying alive. Oh, Butterfree. That actually looks really nice. Um, it's actually really huge, too. But, um, 
Raichu is actually surviving pretty well compared to earlier stages. So I think Raichu, I mean, it's definitely not going to live, but Raichu's probably, I said, early Expedition 3 level Pokemon right now. I probably say Raichu is mid Expedition 3 just because it evolved. It probably gains a couple levels in Expedition 3. But uh, Flareon's about to uh, absolutely smash this Butterfree for me. If it gets closer. What the hell? What, what is going on? What? No, what is? What? What is going on? I'm so confused. I'm absolutely confused. I'm confizzled right now, fam. I got bear cooking reagents, but I'm still confizzled. But that's Expedition 2, fam. Gloomy Grove. Let's catch you guys in Expedition 3. Alright, um, might as well get this last one out of the way, gonna just go ahead and do 3-1. Next week we will be, uh, redoing Expedition 3. Like, this is your expedition, right, you? Water types, fam. Bear waters. Don't tell me this is where Kingdra or Seedra was. Because I, I had a terrible time against that. Was it already Expedition 3 I was starting to struggle? My team's storming through this right now. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot. Expedition 2 and 3 kind of got released at the same time, didn't it? Didn't it? That's probably why. This is easier than some levels in Expedition 2. <laughs> well then, I kind of take that back for you, right, you? You're probably Expedition 4 status right now. You could probably get through Expeditions 2 and 3 with some problems, but you're Expedition 4, like, level 1. Which is a good thing. Right, you's moving up in its ranks. I would love to switch to Undershock. I would never get rid of Surf. Like, if you get rid of Surf on a Raichu, that's like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, I think later in one of these expedition levels in 3, you face up against a, C a Seedra. Damn, fam. That's so early game you find a Seedra. Oh, damn. Raichu, okay. Taking it to a whole new level. All right, sweet. <clears throat> Flareon Cushion's effect. All right, so not too much we can do there. We're just going to go ahead and head back on out. Expeditions are done for the day. So, decorations. I don't think I got any. I'm going to be doing some leveling, so don't worry about that, guys. We're nowhere near done today. Also, for those of you tuning in, Nintendo Switch... Pokemon Quest will be will be rearriving once I've gotten back to where I was. Expedition seven through uh, ten. Once I get back to the grind, we will be switching on over to Nintendo Switch. Better quality. You guys actually get to I can add my webcam into that, so that will be cool as well. Live streaming, a lot more lit than mobile device. So I currently have, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Pokemon. That was perfectly correct. And I have four. So six of them I can get rid of. Alright, so ten minutes. I can actually, I'm going to get another Pokemon too. Or maybe, yeah, I'm probably going to get one. But, yeah. So I need to get to 200. So, yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to fill you guys in right now before we get into anything else. I'm definitely going to be starting that from now on. Every single day I will be logging in just to collect Pokemon, but I won't use them for anything. I'll just make sure you guys can see what I do use them for and what Pokemon I did collect during the week. I will not play the game. I will not grind any further um, because that's that's basically what I want to do in uh, my live streams. I want you guys to witness everything in my game, my whole story from episode one all the way until we finish. But the only thing you won't see me in is... Monday through Saturday, because I currently stream this on Sundays, I will go ahead and log in and collect 
the given Pokemon, the daily Pokemon, and also collect my, uh, my PM tickets. Mulligan Stuella Cube XL size, it is nothing great, it's nothing fancy. It's a Krabby. That kind of looked weird, because it came in sideways. I don't have a Krabby, though, which is cool. Level 39. Add to the decks. Go ahead and uh, see if we can cook. Highly doubt it, though. Yeah, I highly doubt it. Ooh. I'm trying to save those, though. I'm saving those rainbows. I want those shells, but I'm saving the rainbows for sure. I want to do an all rainbow cooking. Y'all know what's up. Oh, wait. Let's see. Do that. Wait. 15. Oh, that's why. Okay, I'm close, though. I'm close. Uh, you want to stop cooking? Yes. Alright, so next episode, I will have to get into that. I gotta remind myself. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, start powering up some of the squad. Cloyster, you're level 45. I just want to check you out real quick. So you do know Withdrawal, which is your main key, and Icicle Crash, which is actually pretty damn lit. And I do have attached to that Whack Whack Zone and Scattershot. Not a huge... I don't care too much on uh, attack with Cloyster, as you can tell. It only has 362 attack, but its HP is at 2800, which is absolutely lit. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and... So you got all the high ones, right? Get all the perfect high 30s. Yep, you do. Perfect. I was just making sure. Making sure I keep that one stacked. So Cloyster's in a good position where I don't really have to focus too much on move training on that. Alakazam and Flareon, however, aren't in a mood and needed for training. So let's go ahead and see what we can pull off here. So Ponyta... With Krabby, with all my high levels, 48. So that's not great. Still 48, still 48. I'm gonna get 48%, and that's because it's a lot of water type Pokemon. So I'm not really happy about that. I think this is 100% though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And how many levels? One. See Alakazam here real quick. Oh wait, no, I do have two Ponyta. Wait, fuck! That Ponyta is level 59! When did this happen? Is this the one that knows Fire Spin? Hella AIDS. What? Yeah, it is. Oh, damn. My Flareon about to smash. I think I can tra I can think I could train with a double ponyta right now. That Flareon is such a high level. Sixty percent. Sixty-seven. Seventy-four. Oof, close. Seventy-four. Oh, man, it's not it's not where I want to be. It's not where I want to be at all. So the thing is, the Flareon, the po Flareon needs the Pony Tiles. Everything else is pretty much useless for it. So I might as well, since... I might as well use them for leveling up then, the water types. I might as well use the water types to level them up. So 45 to 48. So all those water types are going to go straight into Coyster. And I'll get level up. I'll get something out of it. I'm not getting any percentage out of the other way. So start training. Go for it. The Ponytas I'm going to save until I collect some more fire types for Flareon. And then my Alakazam, I mean, it's just struggling because I don't have any psychics. I mean, I can level you up, but like I can go from 48 to 67 like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save those for right now. That Machop I'm going to save too, just because. You never know. It's kind of lit. 
But, other than that, that's pretty much it for the episode. Got three freaking levels on Cloyster, which is unbelievable. Let's go ahead and check it out, because we were able to do some recycling. Yeah, we didn't pick up anything. Picked up one. So, other than that, thank you all very much for tuning in today to another episode of Pokemon Quest. Catch you guys later in another episode of Pokemon Quest next week. But again, remember, during the week, I will be collecting my Pokemon and PM tickets. Basically, aka my dailies. So I'll catch you guys around. Peace. Have a wonderful day.